We humans are being of envy and pride. We tend to covet things that are with ours and take pride in greatness of those around us. This is a story about how an uncle guided his nephew in pursuing greatness. John is feeling antagonistic and is currently influencing his girlfriend. You know what? I heard Joe got some goods on him. Just bad or crack? But as usual, you go in. I am, if you all are. The squad agreed to get stuff from Joe, the town's notorious crack dealer. Minutes passed and their friend Jerry came back with goods on hand. Look what I got from Joe. Let's keep glasses and smoke a pack. I don't really think it's a great idea, John. This isn't like you. You haven't been acting like yourself these days, especially with your friends around. What's wrong with my friends? Are you trying to limit the people I come in contact with? Your friends aren't the problem. The problem is the way you treat me when you're with them. The way you treat people who truly look out for you whenever you're with them. You make me feel like trash, John. Like garbage. Like I don't matter at all. When I do this, all this for your sake, do you even care for me? Or am I just a convenience to you? Buzz off. I'm old enough to make decisions for myself. I just need to forget about stuff even just for a moment. It's not like it'll affect you anyway. I'm just looking out for you, and this is how you treat me? Ridiculous, John. You're out of your mind. I'm leaving. And in case you forgot, I'm your girlfriend, you jerk. Then leave. I don't need you anyway. Fine, if that's what you want. Women all want the D. And stop it. You isn't even that huge. Your mind is dirty. It's dedication, idiot. We all know that's not what it meant. Stop trying to be funny. We get to enjoy drinking. Life is good. As long as these roles don't run out. Yo, pass me a roll. I'd rather spend my days like this than going out with girls. You know, I really think you could do better, John. Just break up with a chick. Nah, I still care for her at least. Better to have someone to string along, right? As the days go by, John began to regress, both physically and mentally. His family knew that he had the potential, but he didn't have the heart to tap in it yet. He bumped into his uncle Phil was scanning the shelf to the supermarket for food to purchase and at that moment he felt ashamed at what he had become. Get her, she ain't nothing. Stop crying, you're here for you, okay? Shut up. The thing is, I am the problem. I feel like whatever I do is always messed up. If I was a good boyfriend, Rose would never leave me. Are you alright? What seems to be the problem? John, it's okay. She doesn't deserve you anyways. It's okay, bro. We are here for you. You just remember that the whole gang got on your back. Let us drink until we pass out. Bro, my girl just broke up with me. And to be honest, at first I was like, forget her. But right now, I'm starting to miss her. I need to change myself. I want to become a better person. If the situation keeps getting worse and worse, I think I'd be the one of the victims of this mess up system. I really want to be a ber better version of myself, but I just didn't know when or how would I start. I have become so used to being like this to the point that this is the only way I know how to cope up with what's ever happening in my life. This is the only way I know how to escape reality. Last time I saw Uncle Phil, I heard about how successful he is and I would be extremely ecstatic to be just like him. How I wish changing my life would be easy, but I know it's easy to say, hard to do. I'm just having a hard time with, to start over. Maybe not now, but I'll get there, I hope. John, come here! What do you want? That how you talk back to your father? W well, no one understands me. What's the point of opening up if you all don't even care about me? What do you think feeds you? Give you clothes to wear? and put a roof on top of your head, you selfish kid. What if you stop? John, don't talk back to your father. See, that's a problem. I hate it here. I just want to get out of this family. I wish both of you just die. Pack your things and get out. We don't need you. Is anybody there? Oh my gee, what's up? I need your help. My life is falling apart, and I don't know what to do. John could not control his feelings, and he's breaking down. Hey gee, keep your head up. I always got your back, but unfortunately, I can't do anything. I'm sorry. I'm all good, bro. I just want someone to talk to you. And also, can I stay here for a while? For good? You know, I'll pay half of the rent. As much as I would love for you to stay, 
You know my situation. I don't think my parents would think that staying here is a good idea. Bro, I thought you were my last resort. My girl left me. You all just think I'm a loser, and my family does not even want to see me anymore. I'm so sorry, brother, but I can't help you. Let's get drunk, boys! I don't want to go home anymore, so let's get wasted. They decided to drink at Carl's house. Carl bought alcohol while Joshua took two packs out of his pocket. They put a table on the balcony and settled there. They drank their asses off. John was the one who was the most drunk between them. My, my parents drove me out of our house. Why? What happened? Joshua opened the packet of cigarettes and gave it to them one by one. They're popping smoke while drinking alcohol. My father found out about my vices and we had a fight. I talked back and they snapped at me. That was the last blow for them to make me leave the house. So what? At least now, nobody will dictate you anymore. That's right. You're free. You're so lucky, bro. Five years had gone by and John had not finished his studies. His lifestyle was still the same. He showed no remorse for his past actions. He moved to his neighboring city. Life did not play him wrong. His bad habits, especially smoking, got worse. He did not have any savings because his money went all to alcohol and cigarettes, so he experienced real suffering. What happened to me? My life did not get any better. I didn't do anything to change my ways. Why does it feel like I'm stuck with the same situation every single day? I did it to myself. I made my bed so I should lie in it. I complain about what has happened to my life when it's actually my fault. I brought this to myself when I started getting addicted. If only I listened to my parents' advice, I'm sure my life would not end up like this. They only want my best interest. I want to fix my life to be a better person, even if it's hard. I won't disappoint them anymore. Son, is that you? John was in shock as he saw his successful uncle whom he had lost contact with. It's me, your uncle. It's been years since we've kept in touch. What keeps you busy these days? Nothing much, uncle. I'm currently working at the place, trying to do better for myself. You know, son, life is not always that easy. Life is the most important thing if you're trying your very best to bounce back. Remember? Hit me up. I'm willing to help you, son. After the meet, John realizes that life is difficult. He finally wants his uncle help in order to change his life also, to become better. Amy G, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Have you been well? Who are you? Do I know you? Amy G, John, the king of parties. We used to get all the girls and get wasted with the gang. I haven't recognized you. It's been years. We all have moved on and we haven't done a sesh for years now. No, right. So, how are you? Have you been well? Where are our other friends? Well, I got promoted as a manager at Jollibee. Joshua became a police officer. Adrian is a seaman. Jerry became a priest at our neighborhood. Trisha is a public servant. Your ex-girlfriend Rose got married to a mayor in Cebu, while Darren went to prison because of drugs. John stared at Jello with wide eyes, shock invisible in his face. He couldn't believe that all of his friends got a better life. Well, except Tyron. They're living a good life while he was left behind. John! Uncle Phil. How are you doing, John? Honestly, Uncle Phil. My life is falling apart. I'm a dropout loser who can't do anything good. Back and change the beginning. But you can start where you are and change the ending. If you want something, work for it. Don't just wish for it. Rather, work for it. You'll never get anything done if you don't start. Small steps are still progress. Consistent work leads to success. Depression strikes John badly. He didn't take good care of himself. His body became ill. John, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I was tired and I forgot to eat my meal before going to work. But I'm doing fine. Well, someone called me from your workplace. 
Remember, I gave you my number. Oh yeah. Thank you, Uncle. How was my condition? How'd you get here? I am still waiting for your doctor's diagnosis. Oh, speaking of, your doctor is here. I am Dr. Salazar, a long doctor and a pulmonologist. How are you feeling now? I am doing better. I was just tired yesterday and I feel like I was losing my breath and I don't know why. Description of what you felt. Both are connected. Are you drinking a lot? Do you smoke? Yes, Doc. My vice has helped me cope up with life. Mm, it's good that your uncle is here. We need his help to help you as well. Based on the findings, you are suffering from respiratory failure. Respiratory failure is a serious condition that makes it difficult to breathe on your own. Respiratory failure develops when the lungs can't get enough oxygen into the blood. We breathe oxygen from the air into our lungs and we breathe carbon dioxide which is a waste gas made in body cells. Breathing is essential to life itself. Oxygen must pass from our lungs into our blood for our tissues and organs to work properly. Buildup of carbon dioxide can damage tissues and organs and prevent or slow oxygen delivery to the body. Respiratory failure can also develop slowly. When it does, it is called chronic respiratory failure. Symptoms include shortness of breath, or feeling like you can't get enough air, extreme tiredness, and inability to ex exercise as you did before, and sleeplessness. You are diagnosed with a condition that affects your lower respiratory tract, such as diseases that affect your lungs, such as nicotine poison, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, and pulmonary embolism. You may need extra oxygen through tubes in your nose or support with a breathing machine called a ventilator. Is that okay with you? Treatments for respiratory failure may include oxygen therapy, medicines, and procedures to help your lungs rest and heal. Chronic respiratory failure can often be treated at home. If you have serious chronic respiratory failure, you may need treatment in a long-term care center. But knowing your condition, I guess you just need a rest and treatment at home. If your condition gets worse, you may come back here and we can treat you better here for a long time. <coughs> okay, Doc. Thank you for your kindness. After John recovered, he went to his Uncle Philip and thanked him for everything he has done. No problem, John. I just want you to talk to your father and settle your understanding. And please, do not make the same mistake again. I guess you have learned your lesson. Well, yeah. After what happened to me, I decided to be a health advocate to raise awareness and promote health. Quitting alcohol, tobacco, and drugs is one of the best decisions I've made. Such habits cause considerable damage to human existence, loss of potential and motivation, premature aging of the human body, and acquisition of diseases. Social vices or abnormal behaviors such as infidelity, drug addiction, evil or immoral behaviors such as violence, verbal abuse, tudgery, and such other fallings affect the society as a whole. Students divert their time to these vices instead of being serious with academic words. The wastage of time, opportunities, and privileges leads to poor academic performance that will affect them later on in life. Change with proper parental guidance often help establish hope and will for recovery. Many expect of or hope progress on overcoming bad habits to be linear, that they should continue to feel better and better each day in a straight path upwards. However, it is more common for us to make progress, experience a setback, learn from it, recover, and then progress again. <laughs>